roughly 4,800 nautical miles. We uh, expect soon we'll get a new reading from the flight dynamics officer on the uh, not only the uh, distance but the rate at which the uh, distance between the two vehicles is closing. We're looking at one of the two solar arrays on the starboard side of the space station's truss structure. Supported by the uh, solar alpha rotary joint that's currently uh, in a parked position. The lower right portion of the screen, we see uh, just the edge of the external stowage platform number two, which is attached to the forward side of the Quest airlock. And in the upper right-hand portion, the bit of the truss element with the uh, photovoltaic radiator partially rotated.
good view now of uh, one of the solar array wings on the International Space Station's starboard side truss. As the station is about six minutes away from uh, crossing the coast of North America in southern British Columbia. Space Shuttle Atlantis is uh, trailing the station, has just now crossed over the equator. Following on that same course at a lower altitude, which allows it to uh, gain ground, if you will, uh, in terms of uh, closing the gap between the two vehicles. Atlantis altitude will be begin to be raised during a series of uh, rendezvous burns that will take place tomorrow. And in so doing, the uh, rate at which the distance between the two vehicles closes will be slowed. That uh, to the extent that that when the uh, shuttle reaches a distance of just eight miles away from uh, the International Space Station, it'll still be two and a half hours away from uh, a docking. The uh, published beginning of the sleep period for the crew on board the International Space Station was uh, 7.15, uh, just uh, 14 minutes ago or so. The official start of the uh, eight-hour sleep period for the crew on board Shuttle Atlantis is coming up in uh, 16 minutes, 7.45 p.m. Both sets of crew members will get a wake-up call at 3.45 Houston time tomorrow morning to begin their uh, operations for flight day three, a day that will uh, see them uh, join up with the docking anticipated at 11.25 tomorrow morning. Coming up shortly on uh, NASA television at the top of this hour, We'll have our first look at the Flight Day 2 highlights package with a look at the activities of the crew of Atlantis. And uh, they got ready for... As the crew members on Atlantis got ready for tomorrow's docking, they conducted the uh, now standard Flight Day 2 inspection of the reinforced carbon-carbon panels lining the leading edges of both wings and the nose cap. No indication at this point uh, that uh, any evidence of any damage to that thermal protection system was found today. The shuttle crew members also completed the checkout of the spacesuits that will be worn by Rex Walheim and Hans Schlegel during the first two space.